about the long hadith is the very long hadith is the word of Prophet or its word of Sahaba that is written now in the Sahih Hadith collections that the Sahaba wrote or took notes during the Prophet uh, said those hadith um, or Sahaba memorized those hadith just listening also the Prophet used to repeat hadith for Sahaba or just one time uh, the long hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, sometimes it's you would find even short hadith part of a long hadith. And the long hadith, whether it's a speech from the Prophet ﷺ, or uh, speech and things that are happening, uh, you know, uh, situations that is present and it's being narrated of what happened, and then speeches or statements from the Prophet ﷺ, uh, where the Sahaba writing the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, yes. Some of them would write the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ as the hadith of Amr ibn al-As when uh, the people, they told him why you're writing when the Prophet ﷺ is a human being, he might forget and things like this, meaning writing the other than, of course, the Qur'an. So when he asked the Prophet ﷺ, the Prophet ﷺ told them, Uktub, oh Allah, ma uh, write because indeed only the truth comes out from the mouth of the Prophet ﷺ. So that's an evidence that some of them would write some of the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, uh, uh, but also they were been given the ability to memorize, and this was even before the Sahaba radiallahu anhum, the Arabs, they had the ability to memorize in such a way, and this is something that is uh, very clear, not just like one genius is the is strong in memorization, this was the norm of the people, that they are strong in memorizing, and Many of these hadith, if it's authentic, is not just one person saying, but many of it is many people have heard. So uh, many people from many people, things of that nature. Sometimes the wording will, will be different according to uh, either the person, he would say, I'm not sure if he said this word or that word, to, to see how precise they were in collecting the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ. Plus, after all, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised for this religion to be saved. So it's beyond the human capacity. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made these means for the deen to be preserved where no nation, no way of life whatsoever they have what we have when it comes to preserving the hadith. The highest level of authentication to the nations, to the religions and so on, they don't even close to how the system of collecting the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ. And uh, that's why those who, they might spread some doubts and things like this, these evil ones, you know, why don't, why, why do they even, they would open a book and they would say, uh, Shakespeare said this. How do you know that he said it? If you apply the rules of hadith, it's all fabricated and it's all a, a lie. Even though it's not a lie. Yeah, he said it. But that's how the strictness of making sure that the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ is for sure has been said and it's been narrated because of the a system or a science that humanity never knew anything about it before. And it's uh, that's why it's um, it's very clear for those who study it, inshallah. Uh, and the Prophet ﷺ would repeat the hadith, yes, and would repeat it more than one time. And whenever he would speak, والسلام, he would say things three times for people to understand what he says, ﷺ, completely.